In this video, we'll talk about uh, Deformer. Deformer tool is part of its main um, distortion tool that controls all the texture movements and animations. Even though in the last lesson we talked about how to use a texture directly to move it, we can also use a Deformer, which is sort of like a, a container that wraps around the texture or more than one texture and make them move in a certain way. All right, so you may have still the, the stuff from last lesson set up. Now we need to delete all these active points first before we move on. How do you delete them? You want to click on the black box that is already active with the perimeter. Click on this perimeter edit and delete all keys. When you do that, the box will stay in where it last stood. So if it's not this point, it could have been here. If I if, if I said here before I delete all of them. So it basically, you know, go stick to where it was last at, and that become the universal point, that zero point or this one sole point that it's gonna be. So it's here. If it's not right, you can move it back here. This time, instead of moving the texture directly, we will use a deformer. So let's go to create deformer, click on it, and you will see this dialog. There's a basic tab and advanced setting, which is not very advanced. So let's change the name. Let's call it a black box or black square holder or um, deformer. And you notice that um, right here, the types of deformer, and there are two of them. There's rotation and there's curved surface. I want the curved surface for this one, for this practice. So I'll click on here instead. However, each time you click on these two, when you interchange between them, it overrides the name. So if you know, if you type your name first and then you change this, then you realize your name is gone. So let's do that again. Black square deformer. You can set the destination part and also the associated deformer, which is basically what the parent deformer is. Well, currently you don't need anything, so we keep it as reference plane. In, ter in terms of destination part, it means this tab here, where it shows each part, sort of like a folder, or um, hierarchy, tree, category, or whatever, branches. And they're already face, eye, eyeball, brows, mouth. These are the default ones. We can go with rough, because this doesn't matter. So it's like a rough sketch um, layer, all right? So we'll keep it rough, and reference plane, curved surface, curved surface, and also here, number of divisions. You want to keep the top set as 3 by 3, and the lower set as 12 by 4. Now, you're free to test around different values in these. You can go by 5 by 5, 6 by 6, or 2 by 4. Remember one thing though, try not to make them the same. All right, so if this is 3 by 3, you don't want the, the other one also be 3 by 3, because that would cause some trouble. So try to keep them different. I usually go with 3x3 and 4x4. If you have too many points, you just keep make yourself uh, make your life hard. Right? So that's 3x3 and 4x4 and press OK. And here's a sort of like a grid. A grid with an external red box and some blue dots within. And when you see this, you know that this particular thing is this object is a deformer object but not a texture object. Now, let's try to um, use move this to wrap around the black square you can do this by clicking now on the center red point drag it over and then you can resize it there are multiple hotkeys to help you resizing things if you want to resize by um, anchors to the center point you can hold down alternate and when you click and drag you see that it will scale down accordingly. Right at the corner, it will always keep the proportion or the scale. And if you want to keep the proportion, you can also hold down the shift button, which would keep the um, horizontal and vertical proportion. You can try shift click and also shift alt click and they work differently. Now control is kind of special. When you do control, you see a lot of blue grids, but let's ignore that for now because 
I'm going to talk about it later. So let's try to resize this to a black box here. And currently, this thing is not carrying the black square. As you can see, you move this around, the black square is not following, but we need it to follow this uh, wrapper. All right, so how do we do that? We want to select the black square. Now, if you keep clicking it, you realize that you keep selecting the deformer tool. Well, that's because you're currently using deformer tool selector or edit deformer tool. You need to click on the pointer here instead, and you realize that you can now select texture. Now, there are many ways to select texture and deformers. You can also right click and go by select drawable objects. This is very useful if you have things stacking up with each other and you cannot select the one on the back. You right click here and it will suggest you which one are you selecting. So you want a black box. Or you can go to the parts palette and select a particular texture that you want or the deformer. Otherwise, you can come to the deformer um, palette and you can also select things this way. We'll talk more about the functions around this area later. So how do you make the black box part of a child object of the wrapper, the black square deformer? You want to click on this texture and go here on the edit palette, there should be deformer. In case you don't see any of these palettes, you can always come to the window button and check the box for that palette that you need. So we go to edit and there's a field called deformer. Click and drop a menu and you can select you can see all the deformers available. You can simply click on black square deformer. Now if you move the deformer uh, whoops. If you move the deformer and it's not selected yet, why isn't it? Okay, I think I just clicked. All right, there you go. So when I click on the deformer, it should move along. You see that I'm dragging the red box, the red uh, frame, and it's also carrying the black square. Now this part you should know. How do we move this to here and create the animation parameter? The same way you did for the texture in the first chapter. While you're selecting the deformer, not the black square, when you're selecting the deformer, click on move box, create two points and at the end point you want it here as you can see you're just moving the deformer and you're moving along the black box and in the next chapter we'll talk about more reasons to use the deformer instead of the texture directly